Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Daniel Dubov. This is a game from Opera Eurorapi Tournament 2021. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Dubov played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6. Bishop to c4, the Italian game, maybe. Knight to f6, two knights defense. d3. Bishop to e7, castling d6, c3, Dubov castled kingside 2, rook to e1, h6, controlling g5 square. If knight to a5, then bishop to b5, and after a6, bishop to a4, b5, bishop to c2. This reminds of Spanish game. Back to our game. h6, knight from b to d2. Bishop to e6, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, knight to f1, a5, knight to g3, a4, bishop to d2, kind of a quiet start, d5, b4, a takes on b3, and passan, a takes on b3, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, d4, white move, queen to b1. Let's take it back. If c takes on d4, e takes on d4, and if knight to e2, then black has this very interesting move, knight to g4, allowing white to take on d4 and win a pawn. Carlsen probably would not do that, because winning the pawn on d4 leads to trouble after a bishop to d6. Black stands better. Back to our game. Carlsen played the queen to b1. d takes on c3. Bishop takes on c3. Black to move. Bishop to c5 was played. It looks like a good move on the surface, but it didn't work well. Let's take it back. Queen to d6 should have been considered, and if b4, then knight to d7, and black is okay. Back to our game. Bishop to c5. And now b4. Attacking the bishop. Bishop to b6. b5. Attacking the knight. Knight to d4. Bishop takes on d4. Bishop takes bishop. Queen to b3. Attacking the pawn on e6. Queen to d7. Knight to f5. Black to move, knight to g4. Another way to go was knight to h5. Maybe stronger than knight to g4. But knight to g4 was played with an interesting idea in mind. Carlsen captured the bishop. Knight from 5 takes on d4. e takes on d4. e5. White is threatening h3 h5. If a random move, then h3 and the knight is gone with the wind. So h5, queen to c4, threatening to capture the pawn on d4. White is standing better. And in this position, Dubo played rook takes on f3, a desperate move played in order to create complications. A quiet move like this, defending the pawn, and the black's position would slowly deteriorate. For example, h3, knight to h6, knight to g5, if rook to e8, rook to c1, white is better. So, Dubov tried rook takes on f3, the exchange sacrifice. Pawn takes rook, knight to h6, rook to c1, knight to f5, Queen takes on c7, queen to d5, queen to c2, knight to h4. If queen takes on f3, queen to d1, queen to h3, rook to c8, check, king to h7, queen to e2, and white is better in this variation too. Back to our game. Knight to h4, queen to e2. Knight takes on f3 check, and it seems that the white is in trouble. 
because the most obvious move doesn't win. It's check. Let's try the most obvious move. If king to f1, then knight takes on h2, check. If king goes to e1, knight to f3, check. If the king goes back to f1, knight to h2, check. And let's go back to e1 again. If knight to f3, check. And the king goes to d1, then h4. And black has even a chance to win. Back to our game. So what is the solution then? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Carlsen played king to h1. That's quite an amazing move, because it looks like that it's wrong. But that's the best move for white. Duo played knight takes pawn on e5, discover check, f3. Well, queen to e4 is also a good move. f3 was played, queen takes on b5. If knight takes on f3, then queen to e4. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and white would win in the endgame. Back to our game. Queen takes on b5, castle played rook to e1. Attacking the knight and exiling the pawn on e6. Knight takes on d3. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is rook to d1, pinning and winning. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.